Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today, today I finally have another haul. I didn't film a video in a very long time. I'm not sure if you actually realized, um, like everything was pre-recorded and then I kind of disappeared for a little bit here on YouTube. Um, I just went on like a short holiday just to see my family and I was waiting, I was waiting for some new releases, I was waiting for something new because I just didn't want to talk about the same fragrances over and over again. Finally, I've gotten here some new releases, actually some of them were released maybe like last year or I just discovered them recently, uh, but I have lots of new releases that I'm sure, I'm sure you're gonna love, okay? We're having a giveaway as well. We're having a giveaway with Navitus. Uh, but I'm gonna let you know everything in just a second. Uh, but yeah, before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and now let's jump in. All right, uh, like I said, we are gonna have a giveaway. Navitus just released a new discovery kit. Here it is. Uh, you are getting in this one, you can purchase it if you want. At the moment, it's on sale. I believe it's 40% off. And if you purchase this discovery kit, you're getting an extra discovery kit for Viva More, their sister brand. So definitely, definitely, definitely take advantage of that offer. This one in particular has both of my fragrances. So it has my newest one, Baklava Royale, and then you're going to have Chocolate Queen. But in this one, you're having all of the new releases. You're having Lost in a Dream, you have uh, Miel Extas, Ambrosia Imperial, all the new releases, uh, Son Manica Sonad, all of them, they're gonna be in this, in this discovery kit. Now, they sent me two of them, one for me to have and the other one for the giveaway. But I didn't open it, I didn't open mine, because I said, you know what, I have all of the fragrances, I know exactly how they smell, so I'm gonna give away Two discovery kits. This is gonna be open only for the UK, and that's just because it's because I'm I'm gonna ship them. So it's not um, Navitus that can ship internationally. It's me here in Manchester. So in a week, I'm gonna announce the winner on Instagram, not here on YouTube, because on YouTube there are lots of scammers in the comments. Uh, on Instagram, okay. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. All you have to do is. Uh, subscribe to Navitus newsletter, okay? Obviously, be one of my subscribers and just, I don't know, leave me a comment. Let me in, let me know in the comments down below which um, fragrance from Navitus you love the most or if you tried any of them, let me know. And then in a week, I'm going to announce the two winners in on my uh, Instagram page. Again, it's only for the UK because I live in the UK and we cannot, I'm afraid we cannot ship internationally. So, now, let's start with the haul. I've got in here 10, 11 fragrances. Most of them, like I said, are brand new release. Um, okay, let me start with the newest one from Emmy Calif. This I smelled, where did I smell it? At Cannes. I went to their party and I... I managed to smell it in there. I smelled other things as well that are coming out and they're amazing. But this one in particular, I knew, I knew is going to be absolutely amazing for the springtime, especially. This one is called Eau Feminine. Again, excuse my pronunciation. Basically, if, again, let me just show you the bottle properly. Here we're having the bottle. The previous ones, they, they look exactly the same as the previous ones, but they were 75 ml. Now they changed. Somehow they kept the exact same bottle, but in a way they managed to fit 100 ml. So you're not paying, you're paying the same price for 100 ml, not for 75 now. This one, look at that sprayer. If you love white flowers, you're definitely going to love this one. This for me is Petit Grain. It's Neroli. It's orange blossom. It definitely has, you need to like Neroli because this one has like a greenness, obviously from the petit grain when you first apply it. It's like the name suggests, it's extremely feminine. It's extremely like elegant. It gives you that French elegance and it's in the opening. You're getting the rolling petit grain. Obviously, it has other notes, but this is what I'm getting, okay? I don't, don't want to list you all the notes and just tell you that I smell all of them when I don't. I'm getting the rolling petit grain. It's 
quite green, okay, so quite like a realistic neroli. And then in the dry down, you're starting to get more like an orange blossom, like a sweet honeyed orange blossom. And then vanilla as well. This is just, again, super feminine, elegant. You need to like neroli. You need to like neroli. But neroli is not there like the whole time. For me, after like 20, 30 minutes, I'm getting more orange blossom, which you know is my favorite, is my favorite white flower. And then I'm getting the vanilla as well. Beautiful release. One thing with this one, I was pleasantly surprised. Emmy Calif that have a good projection and lasting power. But this one in particular, I could smell it. Like I could smell it during the day. It's, even though it's freezing cold outside, okay? Like it's not the temperature, the temperature is not there for this fragrance. Uh, but it lasted. Like normally if I were, I know, like a floral, a fruity scent when it's cold outside, it's not gonna last. But for some reason, this one lasted the whole day and this one actually projected a lot. So, brand new release from Emi Calif. Like I said, if you're into white flowers and super feminine fragrances, definitely check that one out. The next one, okay. Next, it's a fragrance that I've tested again in Cannes and I've been telling you that I cannot wait for it to be released because it's absolutely amazing we are finally 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 having in here from sospiro look at this red bottle look at this red bottle love it um maraschino maraschino it's a cherry fragrance and i know before you say anything before you say another cherry fragrance this is not another cherry fragrance okay this does not smell like lost cherry or any other cherry fragrances that are on the market. Let's put it in here. Maraschino obviously has cherry, okay? It's like a sour cherry, but then you're getting other fruits as well. You're having like a green apple, you're having some strawberry. I think it has some peach as well, it has some jasmine. You can totally, you can totally smell the Sospiro DNA. If you ever smelled Herba, Herba Pura Magica or, Dol or Dolce Melodia, like those fruity scents from Sospiro, you, are, you can definitely, definitely smell the same DNA in Maraschino. It's basically like a fruit cocktail, okay? Like a fun fruit cocktail. I'm definitely getting that green apple. And then you're having this sour cherry. This might be the best release, it's borderline gourmand, but it's like a fruity gourmand. It's not a sticky sweet gourmand. It's not just cherry. Again, this is like a fruit cocktail with sour cherry. Such a beautiful and fun release. I cannot wait. I'm going to Exans. By the way, are you guys coming to Exans? If anyone is coming to Exans, I'm going to be there all four days. So just come and say hello. Okay, I'm going to be everywhere. I'm going to be everywhere. If you see me, come and say hello. Come and say hello. Um... I'm definitely taking this one with me, not the whole bottle, because I have lots of outfits, shoes, bags that I need to carry with me, but I'm definitely getting a decant of this one. It's definitely going to be my scent of the day, for instance, because this is just, it's finally a cherry. You know that I love cherry. I have every single cherry fragrance that's on the market, okay? But it's finally a cherry that is not just that cherry, like that boozy cherry or cherry and almonds, it's, it's different. It's different. Honestly, when I smelled it in Cannes, I, they're releasing two more. There are two more to come. They're absolutely fantastic. But this one was the last one that I smelled. I was like, what is that? When are you releasing, releasing this? Because I need it in my collection. So again, try it if you can get a sample. But honestly, if, you, if you're into super fruity perfumes, and fun perfumes and if you love cherry i'm absolutely sure you're gonna you're gonna love love this one uh i do have another fragrance from sospiro that i said you know what let's bring this one on the website so i'm gonna i'm gonna get a bottle for myself as well this one is pasticcio i've tested their entire line and pasticcio it's a fragrance that I kept coming back like at first I was like I'm not really sure like I kind of like it but I'm not sure but the, the more I smelled it the more I tasted it 
I realize I really, really like it. Pasticcio. Pasticcio is such an interesting scent because it has yellow flowers, it has purple flowers, it has uh, red flowers, it has white flowers. And then in the base, you're getting this like sandalwood, you're getting, I believe, some cedarwood, if I'm not wrong. It has something aromatic going on as well. For me, it's not even a floral perfume, even though it has lots of flowers. I'm not getting the flowers. What I'm getting is, it's powdery. I think it has some iris and some oris and some heliotrope as well. What I'm getting is this aromatic, powdery opening with some woodiness in the background, like some sandalwood in the background. And then that wordiness is getting just stronger it's getting slightly more masculine like opening it's quite unisex and then the dry down is quite masculine but again it keeps that aromatic touch it's such a different fragrance in in a very weird way it kind of reminds me of eureka from reinvented and that one that one i actually didn't like at first like when i smelled that one i didn't like it and now i'm obsessed like absolutely love it it's the same they don't smell the same by any means, but that same woodiness or something aromatic, powdery and fresh. This is such, such a beautiful fragrance. It definitely grew on me. Like it was not my favorite. I would not say this is my favorite from the whole line, uh, but it's such a different fragrance. It's already getting like darker and you can all, you, you can almost smell like some white flowers, some yellow flowers some purple flowers but you don't know exactly which ones i would highly suggest you try it i will not say blind buy it because it might not be for everyone but you're definitely gonna smell unique you're definitely gonna smell unique and it has something very elegant about it very almost elegant and mysterious in the same time really really like this one now uh it's perfect for this weather because it's kind of that perfect scent for that transition period when it's not cold or hot either, when it's just kind of rainy, but it's not that cold. Uh, so I feel like this one for like February, March would be absolutely amazing. Next one, what else do we have in here? Okay, we are having, I'm so excited about this, from Paradise the Sun, uh, Valhalla. You know, the absolutely love, love and adore Nirvana. I discovered the brand um, at Cannes and Nirvana is everything. Like that one, it's amazing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google, not Google. Tell my name here on YouTube and check my review for Nirvana because it's stunning. This one again, it was not released yet, but I smelled it at Cannes. I'm ready for the summer. Okay, it's not even spring and I'm already I'm al already ready for the summertime. This one has mango. This one is a mango scent, okay? It has other fruits, I believe. Might have some orange or something like that. It definitely has some jasmine. Like there's some like flowers as well. But what I'm getting is this fresh mango. It definitely has something like citrusy, like I think mandarin orange something like that and then you're definitely getting some white flowers i'm not really sure if it's just jasmine but i'm definitely getting some white flowers love it love it love it love it cannot wait for the summer i'm like i love mango i have so many mango perfumes in my collection actually there are not that many on the market but i think i have everything that's on the market and this one is different than all of the other ones because this one it's fresh but it's not as fresh for example as god of fire from stefan humble lucas like the mango it's more prominent in this one but it's still fresh and it's definitely getting like a floral like a white floral touch love it i cannot wait honestly i cannot wait and their bottles the camera is not doing justice like this is such like heavy glass and i love them love them love them love them um like i said i tested this one in Cannes, and i was like I need this. When is it released? Not yet. Okay, not yet. But now it's released and you can get it. Uh, next, I need to start moving a bit faster because I can see we are having 15 minutes already. Uh, next, okay, a new brand again discovered at Cannes. 
Christian, uh, Christian Provenzano. Christian Provenzano, he's a perfumer. He's a master perfumer. Okay, he did lots of um, perfumes for Sospiro. He did for Fragrance du Bois. He did for big, 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 big niche houses. This is his own brand. This bottle, it's stunning. Especially the cap. I can't... Can you see that cap? Absolutely stunning. This is heavy like heavy like you know tiziana terenzi that type of heaviness and then the cap it's engraved as well can you see it says christian provenzano amazing i got a discovery kit um in can and i really really like three fragrances but this one was my favorite this one is i forgot to tell you this one is roca roca okay I love saffron. Saffron can be spicy or saffron can be every, like the one in Baccarat. I love the one that's every. This one definitely has lots of saffron, that's sweet every saffron. I don't think it has like a cotton, ca cotton candy note, but I'm definitely getting the like cotton candy thing going on. And then it has orange, but I'm getting like a candied orange with saffron. Imagine like cotton candy, but with like orange flavor, okay? And then you're having that every saffron. That is it. This is also a beast. Like, even though it's a very, let me spray it on my hand. Even though it's a very airy fragrance, it's sweet. It's not sticky sweet, but it's sweet. It's definitely sweet. It's very long lasting i remember like i said i had the discovery kit and i used the sample that was um of roca i i used it completely and it projects and it lasts and this is what i'm getting that saffron and like cotton candy and like some candied orange amazing amazing and the bottle look at the bottle again stunning um like i said there were two more fragrances that i really liked one was the sandalwood I love sandalwood, so obviously I can't remember which one was the other one. I cannot remember the name. If I remember, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them in the description box. But yeah, new brand. It's on the expensive side, okay, but so it's Fragrance du Bois, Roja, and the packaging is there. I forgot to show you the box. It has like a beautiful, beautiful box. It opens up like that. It's it opens like has like two doors and they open. Absolutely stunning. Um the fragrance, it's amazing. It's created by a master perfumer. It's his own brand. Packaging, it's amazing. So I know it's very expensive, but I can justify the price if we compare it to other brands that are having a similar packaging, like super bougie packaging uh, and like good, good fragrances. Next, how many do I have left? I don't have that many. Okay, moving on. Something that's not new. It's not necessarily new to my collection, but I didn't show it with you, uh, share it with, with you because it was freezing cold and this is definitely spring summer. Paris Monte Carlo, Cedro di Diamante. Again, I only discovered this one in Cannes. I'm gonna very quickly mention it because like I said, it's not a new list. I love this one. This smells like a lemonade. It has lime, it has lemon, it has bergamot, it has like all of those like citrusy notes. It's super fresh, super refreshing. It has a sweetness as well. It's like a sweet lemon. It's, if you ask me, if you're looking for just like that type of like zest, it's very zesty. It's very, very zesty. If you're looking for that type of like zesty, fresh, lemony, bergamot type of scent, this one is the best one. It has a sweetness, but it's not necessarily sweet. It smells like a lemonade. It smells like a lemonade. It's such a beautiful fragrance. Like when I smelled it, I was like, oh my God, this is so underrated. And the, the bottle again. Let's have a look at the bottle. Paris Monte Carlo is also a brand that is not that expensive. Like for niche, they really have good prices and they're coming in 50 and 100 ml. Uh, so yeah, this one for the summer is still again, too cold, too cold, but it's amazing. If you're looking for that type of fresh fragrance, like super zesty, but the one that doesn't smell like, like, I don't know, 
toilet cleaner like doesn't have that stinky alcoholic no it's pure like bergamot and lime and lemon and all of them squeezed together and a little bit of sweetness and that's that fragrance amazing uh how many do we have left okay rosendo mateo 1970 i've mentioned this one on my instagram Again, it was presented last year at Exans, but finally it's available in the UK. In the UK, you can find this one on Perfume Playground. It's exclusive to them, okay? Because I kind of wanted to bring this brand to my website. Oh, I can smell it. Uh, but they told me that this collection is private to their website. So if you want to buy it, go there. See, 1970. It's a fragrance for people that don't love gourmands but they want to have a gourmand in their collection this is basically it's a chocolate perfume but it's not your typical chocolate what i'm getting is like it has a like a almost like a vintage quality about it like a very yet yeah, mature but not all like don't think all it smells very like sophisticated mature scent it has chocolate you can definitely smell the chocolate it's more like a hot cocoa not necessarily milk chocolate it's more like powdery and like hot cocoa it's a bit powdery as well it's, it's powdery as well and it's very warm and inviting and elegant and again if you're the type of person that doesn't like gourmands but still like once something gourmand but not, nothing too realistic this one is definitely definitely for you basically me and Hayley when we were in Milan at Exans last year we went to Rosendo Mateo we smelled they have like four from this new collection and both of us when we smelled 1970 we were like what is that what is that it has some tonka bean I believe it has some almonds maybe um but yeah it's that very 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 sophisticated gourmand without being too foody if that makes any sense so again rosendo mateo 1970 you can find it on perfume playground here in uk it's a beautiful scent test it first because i know it's expensive okay uh but if you're looking for that type of scent and you couldn't find it anywhere because gourmands are Pretty much all of them are very realistic at the moment. Hey, I release two good ones, okay? And both of them are quite realistic. Um, so I understand that that's my type for sure. I know it's not for everyone, uh, but definitely, definitely check that one out. How many do I have left? Four more. Okay. Two new releases from Lorenzo Battaglia. Let's start with Sugar Kisses. When I saw that they're releasing this one, First of all, the name, the bottle, it screams, again, sugar, pink, cotton candy, vanilla, all things I love. When, when you're looking at the notes, you're going to see cacao bo uh, butter. Uh, you're going to see, I, I don't know, that, that all the sweet notes, like toffee, caramel, vanilla, brown sugar, every single sweet note that you can imagine is in this perfume what i'm getting is oh my god this is it's very sweet it's very sweet but i personally love it like it's my level of sweetness like i i, I can i can i can deal with this level of sweetness okay i'm definitely getting something buttery like i think it's a cup it's only butter or cacao butter? I can't remember. But it's definitely something buttery in here. And then I'm getting more like powder sugar with some brown sugar with some like burnt sugar and a bit of coconut. This is what I'm getting. It's so good. It's not syrupy. It's almost powdery. So it's not, it doesn't have that like sticky texture. It's quite like a powdery dusty like powder sugar that type of texture and buttery in the same time but it's very sweet it's very 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 sweet for some people it might be too sweet not for me not for me i i, I love it 
is it my favorite though i'm still in between this one and van ecstasy i love 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 van ecstasy uh but yeah, it doesn't smell like van ecstasy if you ask me van ecstasy is definitely more sticky more syrupy it's it's that different that is the same vanilla used for sure but that different it literally smells like a pink bubblegum sugared uh, it's, it's the pink of the pink like you can't get in a fragrance more pink than this if you think of the color pink if you think how that color will smell it's sugar kisses and the next one which i can't really describe because i it's i'm gonna explain in a second it's sweet explosion sweet explosion again it has so many notes i didn't know what to expect and when i smelled it i was like okay i'm not sure exactly what am i smelling because when you smell it there's so many notes that you can't really pinpoint like what it is if you're not looking actually looking at the notes it's a summer fun fragrance fruity almost but not just fruity but then it has something spicy as well as uh, as soon as i saw the notes literally you can smell all the notes but you have to look at the notes it has honey i can smell the honey it has coffee i can smell the coffee it has lime i can smell the lime i believe it has coconut i can smell the coconut i can smell all of these notes individually but in the same time when you first spray it if you don't know the notes you don't understand what you're smelling it's one of the most unique releases that i've smelled in a very 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 long time it literally doesn't smell like any other fragrance that's on the market and i've tested thousands of fragrances i do really like it i i love sugar kisses like that's definitely more my vibe but i do really really like it it's it's for like summer evenings it's like summery for sure but it's warm like and almost spicy in the same time it's such such a unique perfume you need to you need to try it with sugar kisses if you love super 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 sweet fragrances buy it sweet explosion i will test it first but even if you even if the nose don't really sound like something that you like i will still try it i will still try to find the fragrance in a boutique or to get a sample because it's such a unique scent like you never smelled anything like this this is definitely summer evenings like i'm def i'm definitely gonna when i go on holiday i'm gonna take a sample with me for like summer evenings i feel like it's gonna be amazing uh, but yeah sun explosion and sugar kisses the two brand new releases from uh, lorenzo passaria we've got two more okay next one i already did a video about it you know that i love it that's narcotic delight from initio this is my best the best initial ever is my favorite from this from the brand it's another cherry fragrance but again it's not another cherry fragrance this one is cherry it's boozy it has tobacco it's it's unbelievable good i'm getting compliments all the time when i wear this one everyone everyone around me seems to absolutely love it it's definitely unisex some people might say that's actually quite masculine I find it perfectly unisex for me i just love it this is so sexy this is unbelievable sexy try it first again it's expensive try it first but it's honestly i'm so happy that i bought it like i'm so so happy that i bought it because it's unbelievable good and the last one is actually not a new release but i just discovered it recently that is french coffee from al rehab I did my coffee video and some of you mentioned this fragrance um if you're getting the 50 ml it just comes like the standard i'll rehab bottle but if you're getting the 100 ml it comes in this bottle and i found it like very cute so i said okay let me get it it was 25 pounds can't complain about that french coffee is the most realistic coffee that i ever smelled okay i do have um it, it reminds me slightly of Theodora Scalotini's Coffee Addict. That one has more like a tiramisu vibe, which I love and adore. 
French coffee is literally like a coffee, like a latte with some sort of syrup in there, like some caramel syrup. But this is what I'm getting, like a drink from, I don't know, Costa or like, like a frappe. Yeah, it's almost like a frappe. It's a frappe. It's not a, it's not a latte, it's a frappe. It is a frappe. This is what I'm getting. A frappe. I just, that's what I'm, I'm shocked because I just realized. I, I was like, this one's like a type of coffee, but I'm not sure if it's latte, it's a frappe. You go on holiday, you know, you don't have to go on holiday. You go to get a frappe, but usually you, when you're on holiday, you want like a nice iced coffee. So you're getting a frappe. This is it. This is it. Highly recommend for the price, especially if you're looking for a coffee scent. Um, you can have both. You can have Theodoros Calotinis. You can have this one. Like I said, Theodoros Calotinis gives me more of a tiramisu, which I love. It's my favorite dessert. I love tiramisu. This one gives more a frappe vibe. So last scent, was that everything? That was the last one. Last scent that we're having in here is French coffee from Al Rehab for today guys that was it uh please let me know let me know in the comments down below if you tested any of these new releases um if you like them if you don't all of that thank you so much everyone for like, the ones that told me about french coffee love it and for the price more people i don't understand why people don't talk about it because it's amazing um so yeah keep giving me recommendations uh tell me in the comments down below which is your favorite fragrance maybe a fragrance i didn't try yet don't forget about the giveaway okay in a week i'm gonna post on my instagram not here i'm not gonna announce anyone here on youtube okay because there's so many scammers in the comment section also on instagram so after i announce usually after i announce the winner i completely delete the post post because i don't want people to get scammed there's so many people that are just saying oh they're pretending to be me be like telegram something and then that same people that they want and they have to pay for shipping it don't don't pay for anything if someone is asking you to pay just refuse don't pay that is not me okay well, that's not gonna be a giveaway that i'm gonna have uh so yeah in one week so discovery kids uk only leave me a comment down below tell me which um navitus fragrance is your favorite and that was it for today thanks so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you guys in my next one Bye bye